Hello guys, this is your girl KG and welcome to Gossip Hotspot, bringing you the latest gossip news in Mozanzi. Today we'll be talking about a viral video that has led to claims of an abusive relationship between the rapper aka and his fiance Nelly Tembe who died last month. Here is what we know so far. If it's your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. There is a footage that is shared on social media that shows scenes from an incident that allegedly took place a month before Nelly Tembe's death. She's Alive is in possession of a video footage in which the rapper aka claims his late fiance Nelly Tembe allegedly wanted to jump off the balcony. The 22 year old died on the 11th of April after apparently falling from the 10th floor of the Pepper Club Hotel in Cape Town. In the footage, the camera pans around the room showing vandalized items scattered everywhere while Nelly can be seen curled up on the floor crying. Look at all of this. Look at all of this. We have somebody here under the influence. Tried to jump off the balcony. My eardrums are ringing. I think I burst my eardrums. I have a witness who witnessed that I did not fight back. So when we go to court, this is what I want people to see. AKA can be heard saying in the video. Nelly also can be seen crying while saying, I want my mother. When She's Alive reached out to the Tembe's family for comment on the video footage, official spokesperson Bongani Tembe refused to comment. He said he had not seen the video in question and didn't think any member of the Tembe's family would comment on it. This came just hours after News24 also reported to have seen images of the incident that occurred on the 13th of March in which aka can be seen using his hands to violently break down a wooden door to enter the bedroom in their apartment in Brainstone, Johannesburg where Tembe was hiding. Another video shared on Twitter reveals a traumatized Nelly Tembe screaming and crying while people are trying to calm her down. There is a link under the description for the videos we are talking about. The video was posted in Twitter using Mahale Mutawung's account about abusers and captioned Heartbreaking. There are adults in this room treating her like she's the crazy one. This girl was left to deal with another abuser alone. Trips in the comment section seemed to think that Nelly Tembe was being silenced. Another comment says, no, they were trying to silence her. Those men should be coming forward. They know something, but they probably won't because this is South Africa. And the other one goes by saying, this child was abused, yes. And where are those people who are trying to calm her in the video? Why are they not speaking up on what really transpired? In a statement, AKA slammed the allegations leveled against him labeling them as an attempt to disparage his name and analyst character. He continued saying that I will not be part of speaking on or exposing our troubles as a couple. To defend myself from one-sided views that are portrayed out of their full context. Every story has two sides and so does every video, image and message. AKA made another statement on his social media account saying that he and Nelly Tembe had a challenging relationship. He further stated that he was and still in love with Nelly. What makes it even sadder is the knowledge that some of the people she and I loved and entrusted with our deepest troubles are now using those as weapons to set a negative narrative on my character. I am passionate and emotional person. What I will not do and stand for is watching people attempt to disperse my name and importantly analyze to suit a narrative we both never signed up for, aka edit. At Nelly's funeral on the 16th of April, her father and prominent businessman Moses Tembe moved to set the record straight on the circumstances surrounding her death. As Anela's father, I categorically state that Anela was neither suicidal nor did she commit suicide. We must as a matter of priority deal with this courage that believes our youth, alcohol which is overused and drugs. Fellow South Africans, we better wake up and smell the coffee. We have a serious problem with substance abuse. 
Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like and comment below. I'll see you soon. Bye.